Hello folks, Sam Lawrence here, and uh, I got a product that's uh, going to be of interest to a lot of folks. Uh, this is a actual re uh, remote battery disconnect switch for cars, autos, RVs, trucks, just about anything that has a battery in it and starts and runs in a vehicle. It's 12 volts, 250 amps, and it's a battery kit switch for car remote control kill switch or anti-theft or to save your battery from discharging when you store your car for long periods of time like six months maybe in the winter uh, you put one of these on and with a remote control you can uh, disconnect the battery with the flip of a button okay here's what you get you get a relay right here and you get two remote controls which will operate the relay and uh, when when the relay is not operated the battery is disconnected uh, you have to operate the remote to make a co connection here in the relay to connect the battery to the car and I'm going to show you how all of this is done uh, there's some connecting uh, points you have to do and we're going to show you how to do it this is what you get a uh, a positive terminal and this is for the top post uh, if you don't have one of these and you have side mounts uh, that's what I have on the RV I'm going to show you how you can convert those to a post and be able to use this product but it was designed for batteries that have the post on top and uh, it'll make it easier uh, now here is the negative the reason I have two is the terminals are different sizes uh, for the positive and negative post okay you get two posts a positive and a negative you're only going to use one set of these whichever one you connect to uh, you can either connect to the positive or the negative depending on which is the easiest connect to usually the negative is going to be the best uh, uh, place to put it because there's only one connection point okay and you get two straps here whenever you use these you use these together to give more current flow through there whichever you select positive or negative I'm going to do the negative uh, on my uh, uh, RV okay and both of these remote controls work it just gives you two in case there's two drivers or whatever you store uh, keep one in case you lose one okay and you get a set of instructions right here here's the product and accessories you get the wires are already connected a red and a black and they're right there and uh, you also get these two items and the straps and the two posts and the remote controls we got everything installation they're showing you a connection first thing they show you is removing the buckle or the connector from the post and either negative or positive we're going to go over and remove the post from our uh, negative side and then step two is uh, we're going to prepare the relay now we have to connect these devices like this we've got to put a post here for a negative installation post on this side so looking at that the red wire is there I would put it right there and I take the we take the nut off and right here is the negative terminal it's a screw on and we just screw it all the way on and Let's go ahead and do it, and then we'll have it ready so when we go to the battery, everything will be set up. First thing I'm going to do is put the post on. I'm just going to bend these out of the way a little bit. I loosened it up a little bit ago to make it easy. They re the reason they put these on is you could put wire connectors on there, uh, different applications. But we're going to use it under these conditions. I want negative. And I want the negative right there across from the red and and negative will be up on there and I just screw it down all the way 
and I have this adjusted to where it'll fit right on. Give her a good tightening. And now, there we go, okay? And now we're going to take uh, this right here and we're gonna put a strap on there and connect it to this point right here. So I'm gonna take this loose and I'm gonna put this in between there, kind of clamp them. Just like that. Put it in there and then screw her down. And I'm gonna tighten it later because I may have to make some adjustments. I'm not gonna have it real, real tight at this point. I just want everything connected so when we get to the battery, everything will be good. Okay, so I loosen that up, take this off, and we're gonna make it just like this picture right here. Because I'm doing the negative side. Okay, and then I put this on there like that. Put this on. And I think you can begin to see what's gonna happen is uh, this is where the connector is going to go. This is going to be on the post of the battery. So when this operates, this is going to connect this uh, connector to that post by way of this relay going through there. And that's all it is. When I hit off, it's going to break that connection. So it's the same as taking the connector off the post. Very easy to operate that way. Okay, I'm gonna tighten this down just a little bit. And now I can, later I can loosen it and uh, I'm ready to go. Now these, this is gonna go over to the positive side. The positive side would be on the other side and I connect it to the battery terminal on the other side. This is gonna go right over here and this point. So I'm gonna go ahead it's showing that right here, so I might as well go ahead and do that so that it's done. That's the negative side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off, back off. Actually, I can put it... I'm going to keep it on this, just like they show. So... If we had looked at that a little bit, and now that you see it, you're going to just go ahead and put yours on there. I wish they had instructed it that way, but they didn't. And I'm going to go right through here, put her down through there, and screw her down. Okay, that's our negative terminal right there. And then this is going to go over to the positive positive terminal of the battery so right now this is gonna these wires are gonna supply power uh, even when the uh, the uh, relay is operated with these wires we still have power directly to the battery this is directly on the battery the negative and this will be directly on the battery the positive and so it always has battery and we're just disconnecting these two points. My relay is ready to go, and uh, we'll take it over to my RV, and we will install it. It's very easy. Folks, uh, you've got a front row seat. Uh, this is my positive terminal over here, and you see why I wouldn't want to use it. It has all these wires and uh, connections. This only has the ground connection right over here. Mine is a... Uh, a side post it doesn't have the post on top so I had to convert this uh, to make it work so if you have a side post you can uh, get post for the side and you can get this for this connection right here and uh, you'll this uh, product will work so let me take this loose right here from that post and then we're going to mount our relay let me get our relay Okay, a little bit, and then all I got to do is kind of twist it a little bit, and it'll come right off. Okay, there. 
Now I'm just gonna kind of put this over to the side and now I'm going to mount this onto here and I got everything I need to do that. And I'm gonna stand up here. Okay, now what I did is put this in here and start tightening. And you want good connections. And I'm tightening. I'm tightening the clamp around the post. And I've selected everything correct. So, And I'm getting a good tight connection. This doesn't hurt to get a, a good tight where you shouldn't be able to move that. And then you want to get those straps tight. I made the connection over here and uh, now I've got the connection over here. And then we should be able to start the vehicle. Uh, if you can't, then you might have a bad connection between one of these or the relay. Uh, I tested my relay ahead of time so I know my relay is working. So now it's ready to go. Right now it will not start uh, because the relay is not operated. Now I'm going to go in and uh, I'm going to hit my button and start the relay or start the vehicle. Now you're going to hear uh, the snap of the relay when uh, right here when I uh, hit the remote. All right, let's listen for the remote and see if we hear it. All right. Here's the on. Did you hear that? Click. Here's off. Here's on. Okay. Now, on this, uh, uh, we're going to go in and uh, see what we get. So, you just wait here and uh, see if you hear it crank up. Now, I have the switch on, but I'm going to operate and see if it kills it. There, off. It's dead. And here's on. I've got the key on so you can hear it. Now I'm going to go off. Perfect. It works great. And that's the way it'll work for you. Off means no juice is going on you hear okay my engine can start now when it's off it's uh it's off okay folks uh you saw uh the installation of the uh, battery disconnect switch and uh how it operates and how it could probably be something that would work for you the benefit of this is uh you could store your uh, your vehicle for long periods of time and activate it and the battery will probably be as good as new uh, whereas if you leave a battery in a vehicle for long periods of time the battery will slowly go down to nothing and it's bad to have uh, a starting motor or a starting battery uh, go down to zilch okay folks uh, I want to thank you very much for watching my video and hope this helped you